Right, in this video we're finishing the work on factoring or factorising, whichever you want to call it. And we're going to look at some special expressions now. So, I've got some rules here. The first special one is the difference of two squares. And that's basically the rule for how we factor it. And then we've got the difference of two cubes, and that's the rule for that one. And there's another rule for the sum of two cubes. And to check that these are the right rules for factoring these, you can multiply these out. And you'll see that you'll get these expressions back. But anyway, let's do some examples now just to show you how we use these. So this one's the difference of two squares. Because we know that's a square with the being a square then not 16 is a square number. So basically what I do is I just put the x and then to plus 4 x minus 4. Because notice in here this is with y and this is with x. This one here is very similar to what we've seen in the last videos, but notice that when I try to factor this, I get two expressions that are the same. So I can then write that as x plus 3 squared. And that doesn't mean x squared plus 3 squared, it means we multiply this bracket two times. So, this is another difference of two squares now. That's going to factor the 3x and another 3x. And that's going to be... No, it shouldn't be 42, that should have been 49, that's not a square number. It's going to be 7y minus 7y. And this one here, this doesn't look like a difference of two squares, but notice that two x is a common factor of this. And then when I take that out, I'm left with 9x squared minus 25, which is a difference of two squares. So then I can factor that inside part more as the difference of two squares. And I'll get 3x plus 5 and 3x minus 5. Now, this one here is the difference of two cubes. So basically we're just going to use the rule at the top here. This can be a bit confusing at times, but what I'll do is this is my x. And I put a minus 3. And then here I want an x squared. And notice that will give us an x cubed. And then I want x times y. So x is just x. And well, y is 27 so I get 27x. No, sorry, I don't get 27x, I get 3x, because I need the cube root, that. don't know why I've done that. And then, of course, we've got the y squared, yeah, on the end. And when you multiply it out, you should find that you would get this expression back. Sorry about that silly little mistake there. And anyway, this one's the sum of two cubes. And on this one, I'm going to get x plus 5. Yeah, and I'm going to get an x squared term. That gives me x cubed. 
Now this is a negative, so I want this to be negative instead of positive. So I'm going to get minus, I'm going to get minus 5x, because that's the cube root of this. And then I've got me. That should be nine. I don't want to put y there. And so this is going to be twenty-five. And then you multiply this out. You should see that you'd get this expression back. And finally, this looks like a fourth power, but. Let's just see what happens here. I've got a common factor here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this common factor of 2x. And then I'll be left with 125x cubed minus 64. Let's just bring this down here now. So I've got a bit more room. Now I can factor this part inside here as the difference of two cubes. So here I'm going to get, let's say it's 125x cubed, so I'm going to get a 5x. And then I'm going to get a minus 4. Then, next thing I'm going to get here, using this rule, so... I'm going to get an x squared term, which is basically just going to be 25 x squared. And then, of course, I do my x times y. So an x is 25, y is 14. So then I get some large number here times x. So I'm going to just quickly figure that out. Should be 346, I think. X, 346x, that should be. I don't know if that's right, but anyway, the idea doesn't change. So, in case. And then I've got me usual. y squared term would just be 16 yeah 16 which would be the usual minus I think no I think that's probably plus term there in fact yeah so that'll be a plus and then I don't know if this long number here is right or you can check that on your calculator, you know. Doesn't really matter too much. Because that's basically the idea and that's all I'm showing here.